lights went out, it was David Perel from pole position in the Rinaldi Racing Ferrari who led the way just about as they charged towards La Source for the first time. Mikel Mack trying to challenge but eventually happy to file through in second position as behind Andrea Montermini and Fernando Reese came together. Neither car damaged but both substantially delayed. It's also drama when Renat Salikov tagged Holly Wilkinson but it was Lorenzo Barra de Viega who was the completely innocent victim retiring after sailing damage to the front of the BMW. Meanwhile, Andrea Montoni was busy charging up through the field after the early spin as Alex West and Marcello Hahn came together. Unfortunately, that put West out of the race. While Valentin Pierberg and Fernando Ries were busy doing battle as well. Post pit stops, there was some absolutely brilliant action with Joel Eriksson sliding his way through the field, as were Matt Griffin and Fran Rueda going every which way around Giuseppe Cipriani. Alain Colgate also rapidly fell victim to the charging Ferrari and BMW. In the front of the field, though, Jerome Mull was being pursued by Alessandro Pierguini, and this was the move that sided the race around the outside for the first part of the comic gave Pierguini the inside for the second phase. Meanwhile, the Pro-Am podium, it got a little bit intimate at times sort out who was going to finish in second and third position. Eventually decided in favour of Fabrizio Cristani. For Alessandro Pierguini and Mikel Mack, it was their third victory of the season and it has given Mack a comfortable lead at the top of the championship standings. Two of the Imperial Racing Lamborghini Huracans rounding out the podium. For Lusit Racing, very much a case of job done.